Welcome to Sentry 1. In this video, we will be discussing how Sentry 1 can help you identify and analyze deadlocks that occur in your SQL Server environment. The Deadlocks tab displays detailed information about the processes and resources involved in deadlocks captured by Sentry 1. Two sections are displayed in the Deadlocks tab. The upper section is the grid view. This grid displays each of the SQL Server resources involved in the deadlock along with the processes that obtained or were waiting to obtain locks on these resources. A process that has obtained a resource lock is referred to as an owner. A process waiting to obtain a lock is referred to as a waiter. Expanding the grid allows you to easily see details for each process. Some of these details include the session process ID, or SPID, of the associated owner or waiter, text data, and more. Clicking on the Open button in the Plan column opens a Plan Explorer session that displays the query plan for the selected process. Plan Explorer is discussed in a different video. The Deadlocks tab also allows you to jump to the event calendar as well as other tabs within Performance Analysis by right-clicking on a row in the grid view and selecting the option you want from the context menu. The lower section of this tab is the Deadlocks graph. Within the diagram, the processes and resource nodes are represented as well as the relationships that exist between them. This section also allows you to change how the deadlock graph is displayed, as well as allowing you to replay the deadlock, giving you the ability to see the order of operations that led to this deadlock. If you have any questions about this information, or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.sentryone.com. Thanks for watching.